Welcome to episode 22 of my Lords of the Fallen Paladin Run. In this episode, I plan to explore the rest of Lower Calrath. I think we're approaching a boss pretty soon, so this should be a pretty good episode. Oh, no! 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 Fucking noob tubes, man. Get out of here with your noob tubes, bro. Now you're just going to serve as health. Why are those going through the wood, bro? Come here. Mr. Reaper is dead. He dropped a stillness hood and Demexis rune. Oh, that's... <laughs> that's a mendacious visage right over there. <laughs> uh, his dumbass face sticking through the wall is hilarious. Demexis rune. Increase physical damage while dual wielding. Or, in a shield, increase stamina regeneration rate. There, is, See, there is regenerative stuff. I need mana regeneration. Stick that in a shield and put that shield on my back. That'd be great. Then I can run my auras for a bit longer. Right, it took a bit longer than I expected to get up here, but I'm here again. I also took a lot more damage coming this way than I thought I would. Well, these guys can shoot fire? I didn't know that. Ow. Small Duralium Fragments. Not ideal, bro. Not ideal. Alright, well, I want to kick this ladder down. Oh, that's all that's up here? It's just an umbral flower bed? Oh, no. There's a path, isn't there? Ooh. Is that a vestige? That is a vestige. How do I get up there without dying? Take this. Map of Calrath slums, huh? Vestige of Lydia the Numb Witch. Rest on up. Upgraded character. Endurance. We're going full send into endurance. Right, so I think from here we could start the slums. Not so sure if that's a good idea. I'm actually going to continue to explore the area I was already in. Because I feel like this whole area, it, it's, they literally gave me a map, so this is a brand new area. I don't want to do that. I can't get through here, really? This is the area I wanted to further explore. Hello? God damn you, bro. Boom!
Another Demexus rune. Umbral vertebrae. Look at him go, bro. Alright. Small Duralium fragment. Cool. Wonder how I get over here. Hmm. Don't know. Clearly there's a shortcut back. Oh look, that's a boss we fought. Long time ago. Alright, well, into the slums I go, then. So I didn't really explore this building at all. We've got... I could talk to somebody here. Hello. Hello, one V. You again. A nice man with a little moustache told me he saw the baddies taking Melchior towards the castle, and this was how to get there. And look, I found a helmet. The head that we're in, it fell right out, and it fit perfect. That's a good sign, that is. Melchior said Mornstead were going to be the answer to all our problems. I don't know what problems we had, but Melchior knows best. Yes, he does. He'll sort everything out when I find him. <sighs> Blimey, ain't half warm round here, though. The inserts and the fools are getting sleepy. Isn't that right, pal? <laughs> See? Ooh, I can give him some unripe berries. Get his stamina up. Ooh, that is the spot. I feel like I could run a million billion miles. No monster better get in me way or it'll be mm, 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 for them. Look out, baddies. Melchior, here I come. Look out, baddies. All right, he's gonna get the baddies. <laughs> Uh, realizing what I said after I said it. All right, there's a ladder here. I thought maybe I could get into the next room, but that doesn't appear to be the case for now, at least. A lot of shortcuts in this area. Let's get going. Ooh, full set. Prol hat, garb, wrappings, and trousers. Cool. Obviously, that's not the kind of stuff I'm looking for, but still cool. This area is starting to remind me of the depths from Dark Souls 1. Oh, those are... Those are bombs? Yeah, they're mines. Don't step on those. I didn't think I stepped on the one, but whatever. Ammunition satchel. What is all this? Ah, I completely missed him. Oh shit. Dogs. I should, I should heal before it becomes a problem. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna take this route in hopes that it leads me to one of the shortcuts that I saw. It's so dark in here, I can't really see anything. It might be that my room is a bit bright, though. Got all the windows open because I like the light. Mimic? Nope. Minor wither salts. Keep getting that rune over and over again. Oh, 
You know, I could have sworn that I hit you with that, lady. Should have just kicked her. Gotten a grievous strike. Some good loot she dropped, though. Aw, oh, you annoying fucker. You would be across the way. Alright, this area is a bit of a cluttered mess, so it's a little hard for me to navigate properly. Wow. Scale breaker. It's a grand hammer. Pure strength. Pure physical. Straight. Just straight big fucking hammer. Nice. Can't go wrong with that. Fire ward. Right, I'm not ready to emerge just yet. That. Getting a little framey. A little framey. There's a lot of shit going on here, though, so, you know, it makes sense that it'd be a little framey. Those damn umbral eggs. It looks like that area is blocked off. Like, umbral only. Weird. the darkness shows you whispers to you i close my eyes at night and every time it's like i'm back down in the mine like i'm trapped and i'll never escape and i can't breathe and there's something looming over me over the whole world i feel like i'm losing my mind seems like melchior doesn't have all the answers after all Cinderbolts. Adier's Mark Ring. Increases Inferno. I don't know what the hell's going on in my menu there. That was weird. Increases Inferno. Yep. Nice noob tubes, idiot. Oh, I'm out of mana. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and emerge from the umbral before the umbral becomes a problem. Yeah, once these things start spawning, the umbral is a problem. There it is. It's down there. Should be a bit less framey now. Also trapped. Didn't notice this path before. Oh, is this one of my shortcuts? Yes, it is. 
Sick. Hmm. Is my only option down? Doesn't matter now, because I'm taking it. Down path it is. Oh, shit. Really? Fuckers? Maybe I should be using that fire ward. Been set on fire quite a bit. Where are you running to? No, I'm still pretty framey around here. That's a shame, really. Really? Spot for a vestige seedling here? Sword of skin and tooth. Fire salts, holy salts, wither salts. It's a grand sword with physical and fire damage. Pure strength scaling at a B minus with pure strength requirement at 36. 200 ignite or burn. I don't I, I don't know which one's which. <laughs> Wish that was labeled a bit better. Cool though. Pure strength fire great sword. No way up from here. Guess not. This is a quiet little room. I don't know why you would want that though. That seedling. It makes no sense to me. I guess perhaps it's designed for their NG plus where you don't have vestiges. So you get to pick and choose where you put yours. Makes sense. Sure, why not? I'll, I'll do one of these. They usually get me killed, but they're fun, at least. Guardian. It's a cool name for an armor tinct. Right, and I think this area is done. So down here I go. To the burning fire tree. Ah. I don't have enough mana. But that's what these are for. Accidentally used a Brio stone there. Oh gosh. I buffed this guy. That's actually not not good. That probably puts him in boss health territory since he was a boss before. Yeah, it does. I'm not even sure what happened there. Yeah, he's got like boss health and boss damage. Bonk. Ow. Got me with that long combo, I'll tell you what. Thank you for the plucked eyeballs, mister. Ooh, large Duralium shards. I think that is my plus nine on this Grand Hammer. Fire ward. Should definitely try keeping up the fire ward. This seems like an area for a mendacious visage, doesn't it? Yeah, that was stupid. <laughs> it's just like, oh, you never know. This really does seem like Mendacious Visage area, though, so let's check. Yep. I was correct. 
My assessment was not inaccurate. Let's do it. I need to bonk something real quick. You'll do. Anybody else? Yeah, Umbral Mage! Hey, buddy. It's been a while. Goodbye. They usually draw Vestige Seeds, but I think I can only carry five. Vestige Moth, Brio Stone Trio. Eh. It wasn't too hard, though, so... Not like it's a waste or anything. Hey! Antediluvian Chisel, though. That is good. That's an upgrade for my lamp. Unless I need two now. After the first upgrade, I'm not even sure. I kind of want to go back through here since I'm in the Umbral. And check. See if I missed something, anything. There's a ladder there. Alright, cool. That's just a waste of my time. Let's go. What is that? Just a reflection. Sara's Axe. That's a pretty cool looking design. Pure physical damage, DD scaling, and strength and agility. Strength and agility requirements. Nothing special about it. This looks like a good spot to leave one of these. In fact, this seems like a good spot to just end the episode. There's not much left to do, really. Just going to level up the character, continue on into the next part of the area, rest on up. Alright, and that is it. If you liked what you saw, please leave the video a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thanks for watching, and take care.